how to convert M4A to MP3 audio file. As you can see guys, I'm currently on my desktop and on my desktop, I have an audio file called audio sample one and that file is right next to my mouse. This audio file is an M4A audio file. I'm just going to quickly show you that this is the case by simply right clicking on the audio file that I'm going to be converting today and then left click on properties. This will open up the properties window for that audio file. As you can see guys, we're in the general tab here and next to type of file, you can see that the type of file is indeed M4A audio file and the file extension for an M4A audio file is .M4A. I'm now going to close out of this properties tab here. To convert this M4A audio file to MP3, you're first going to need to have installed a program called VLC Media Player. Now I already have VLC Media Player installed. As you can see to the left hand side of audio sample one, there is a shortcut for VLC Media Player. If you don't already have VLC Media Player installed on your PC, I'll put a link in the video description below to a video of mine titled How to Download and Install VLC Media Player. I'll also put it as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. Once you've got VLC Media Player installed, you're ready to convert your M4A audio file to MP3. Before you begin the conversion process, locate your audio file and make sure it's working. Once you've found the your audio file just double click on it so that it plays in your default media player for me guys my default media player is vlc media player as you can see guys this is a 20 second audio file and i can hear through my headset that the m4a audio file is working correctly i'm just going to close out of vlc media player now to convert m4a to mp3 open up VLC Media Player. So I'm going to do that now guys by double clicking on the shortcut. Once your VLC Media Player has opened, navigate to the top left hand corner to where it says media and left click on it. Once done, look for where it says convert slash save and left click on it. A small window will open called open media. By default, you'll be on the file tab. Here you'll need to select your file. So as you can see, it says file selection and underneath that it says you can select local files with the following list and buttons. To the right hand side of this blank box, you can see a plus symbol with the word add and underneath that you can see a minus symbol with the word remove. We'll need to use the plus button here which says add to add audio files for conversion. So all I'm going to do is left click on this plus add button here to select my audio file for conversion. You can also select multiple audio files for conversion if you want. For today's video guys, I'm going to be converting audio sample one, which as you can see is on my desktop here and is an M4A audio file to MP3. So all I'm going to do is left click on audio sample one and then left click on open to select it for conversion. And as you can see guys, in the box now, which was blank before, has now been populated with the file path location of my selected audio sample onemp4a file. If you want to add more files, simply left click on the plus add button here. And if you no longer wish to convert an audio file, left click on it and then left click on remove. Once you've added all the M4A files for conversion, you can look to where it says show more options and check mark this box. Here you'll have the ability to further customize the conversion process. For me guys, I'm just going to be going with a simple conversion from M4A to MP3, so I'm going to uncheck mark this box. All that's left to do now guys, is left click on the button convert slash save. Once you've done that guys, at the very top it will say convert and underneath that will be the source which is the location of the M4A file that you selected for conversion. The settings will be convert, you have two further options which you can check mark if you want, I'm not going to touch these two options guys. And underneath that you can see profile, this illustrates the file type that you're going to be converting to. As you can see currently, because I've recently converted an M4A to an MP3 audio file, by default, audio-mp3 has already been selected. If that's not the case for you guys, simply left click on this arrow here to get a drop down menu of all the options for audio that you can convert to. As you can see guys, you have audio-vorbis, OGG, audio-mp3, audio-flac and audio-cd. I'm going to be going with audio-mp3. You can also click this rent symbol here to get more options and edit your selected profile. So I'm just going to do that now guys, just to show you how that looks. So as you can see, the profile name is audio-mp3. You have multiple tabs that you can play around with. As you can see, we're currently on encapsulation. There's also a video codec, audio codec and subtitles. Of course, we're already on encapsulation. And as you can see, the profile is mp3. 
I'm not going to change or alter anything in this section, guys. So I'm just simply going to left click on cancel to be brought back to the convert window here. Underneath that, you have the option to dump raw import. I'm not going to select that option. And finally, at the very bottom here, it says destination, destination file, and you have the ability to browse and choose a destination for your converted file. So of course, guys, we're converting M4A to MP3. So I'm just going to choose a destination here by left clicking on browse. As you can see, we're currently in our desktop. And that's exactly where I'm going to be saving this converted audio file. I'm going to leave the file name as audio sample one, but I'm going to add space v2 for version 2. Save as type of course is going to be .mp3. Once you're happy with the location, its name and the file type, simply left click on save. Once done guys, you can begin the conversion process by simply left clicking on start. Now of course guys, my audio file is only 20 seconds long, so it will be very fast. And as you can see, it has already been converted from M4A to MP3. So all I'm going to do now guys is close out of the VLC media player to be taken back to my desktop and if we look on my desktop now there is a new audio file right here called audio sample 1 version 2 which we have just converted from audio sample 1 and now if we check the audio file type by right clicking on audio sample 1 version 2 and then left clicking on properties you can see the type of file is mp3 audio file file extension mp3 so I'm just going to close out of this audio files properties window here and now I'm just going to check if the newly converted mp3 audio file is working correctly so I'm just going to double click on audio sample 1 v2. This will then play audio sample 1 v2 dot mp3 in VLC media player and of course guys in my headset I can hear the audio and it is working correctly so all I'm going to do now guys is close out of VLC media player and as you can see guys this was a successful audio conversion from m4a to mp3 and that pretty much concludes the video on how to convert m4a to mp3 audio file if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like comment down below and most importantly of all subscribe to support the channel i'll see you on the next video